Hey everyone, here today to talk a little bit about photo editing and photo editing programs. Reason being, I have a few videos up on my YouTube channel that talk about how to use programs like Pixlr and stuff like that. We've talked about this in the past. I used to recommend Pixlr, but I no longer can. And here's why. The thing is with a lot of the free photo editing programs, so at programs like GIMP, programs like Pixlr, uh, apps for your phone, Snapseed and stuff like that, while they may allow you to edit a pretty decent photo, what they don't do is embed a color profile when you're saving your photo. So what a color profile does is it embeds it in your photo so that each different website and device knows how to render those colors. So it communicates the proper coloring for your image across different websites, devices. So if somebody's looking on Etsy or somebody's looking on Google or if they're on a website or if they're on Facebook or Instagram or they're on their phone or their, you know, tablet or their computer or whatever, all of the colors are going to maintain consistency across those different, you know, types of things. So when there is no color profile embedded in those photos, the devices and the websites are left to kind of interpret those colors as they please. And it often is not done very well. So what happens is I have students coming to me saying, okay, well, I saved my photo in Pixlr and I uploaded it to Etsy and the colors are totally out of whack. It looks nothing like my product. And the reason is because there is no color profile saved and embedded. So I have yet to find a decent free program that does allow color embedding. If anyone knows of any, I am stoked to hear about it. Please do let me know in the comments if you know of a program that does allow you to embed a color profile that is free. Um, but as for right now, as far as I know, the only ones that can do that are Photoshop, Lightroom, Photoshop Elements. There's a program called Infinity that does. And I'm sure there's some others, but I'm just not aware of any that are free. And if you're going to pay for a program, I figure you might as well pay for Photoshop because it's like 10 bucks a month. Okay, so we talked about the purpose of why you need to have a color profile embedded in your photo. So now I'm going to show you how to do that in Photoshop and in Lightroom. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop and I'm going to show you how to save an embedded color profile through your saving process so that your product images have consistent color across different websites. So first things up, this photo is ready to go. It is ready to be saved and I'm going to go to file and I'm going to go to export. This is very important go to export and then export as. Whenever possible, you should always be exporting instead of saving as because exporting is the process that's really going to allow you to do some of these options like embedding a color profile and so on. Okay, so here we are in the export as window and this is where you can set a bunch of your different options, which we are going to focus on right now the color space. So down here it says convert to SR. GB. So this is the color space that you need to have in order to uh, embed this color profile correctly. So you want to make sure that it is sRGB. What this does is that if this is in a different color space, it makes it so that you it converts it automatically. Uh, this image likely already is in sRGB because that is how I edit all of my images because I do use strictly web based uh, images. Okay, so convert to sRGB is selected and I'm going to also check embed color profile. And what this is going to do is actually embed this information with the image so that it travels everywhere it goes to different websites and those websites can then correctly read the colors. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click export all. And just like that, the color profile is being embedded with this image and it's very, very simple. And right now it is just being exported. And as you can see, that was very simple to ensure that the color profile was embedded with that image. Okay, so here we are in Lightroom where I'm going to show you how to do the same process we just did in Photoshop, but in Lightroom. So same idea applies, you go to File and then Export. And then we're gonna scroll down to the File Settings. 
make sure that your image format is JPEG. There are some other options here, but none of them are really going to suit other than JPEG, assuming you're using this image for something like your Etsy shop or your you know online website or whatever. And make sure that your color space reads sRGB. There are other options here, but you want it to say sRGB. Now there's no need to check off any embed color profile with Lightroom because Lightroom automatically embeds the color profile with the image. So then all you have to do is hit export and export your file to your desired location and boom, color profile is embedded. So with this knowledge moving forward, now you know how to make sure that that color space is correct and that it's embedded with your image to maintain consistency across different websites with your colors to reduce those returns and unhappy customers getting products that look like a weird color. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you folks in the next video.